chicken that pulls itself. Thought I heard it all, but this is new for me as well. But however it's gonna turn out, it's gonna be awesome. Welcome back by the Donka Barbecue, my friends. And today we're gonna make something I call pulled chicken sloppy joes. It's actually called the chicken that pulled itself, but hey, keep it political correct. Fuck, that's the first time I say this on this channel. And we're gonna do it all this on the wood stove. This sloppy chicken, my friends, is basically a combination of a pulled pork sandwich and a classic beef based sloppy joe. But then a lot easier, and that's what we want. And as we're layering everything at once in the pot, my friends, like in South African put you, it's important that you follow the steps. Well, that's enough talking. Let's start because I'm curious how this chicken pulls himself. <laughs> and let's start with putting some oil in the pan, vegetable or olive oil, it doesn't matter. Then, my friends, we're adding a couple of crushed cloves of garlic, followed by a slice of onion. We're making the garlic happy with a spoon of brown sugar, some salt to taste, and what would the dish be without black pepper, so we add some of that. And then, my friends, we're adding some cayenne pepper to keep us on our toes. Should be enough. And on top of all of this, you're gonna put your boneless chicken. You can use breasts like I do, or chicken thighs, whatever floats your boat. Just on top, like so. And we're not gonna dice up the chicken as it's supposed to pull itself. Well, it still sounds weird to me though, but there we go. And next, we're gonna add some ketchup. Ketchup is a main ingredient for sloppy jokes. Oh, oh look what I find behind the ketchup. <laughs> Cheers, my friends. On a tropical summer day. Right, ketchup, we said, there we go. Beep, generous amount of ketchup. Then we're adding some mustard. Oh, that sound again. And then we're adding some mustard sauce on top of the mustard. <laughs> that kokoshi nearly starts to look like witchcraft, eh? But anyway, we're gonna put some sriracha sauce on top of it for some extra kick. And there we go, sweet baby Jesus. And that's it, we're not gonna put any water just yet. We're first gonna stick it on the stove. Let the party begin, guys! We're gonna get this fire nice and high, so it's gonna get really hot. We're gonna stick the pan on it, sear for the first few minutes, whatever is at the bottom. Then we're gonna add the water and simmer away for another hour and a half till the chicken pulls itself. I keep saying it because <laughs> I think it's funny. Oh, look what I find behind the ketchup! <laughs> and there we go, my friends. Let magic do its tricks. And now as everything has been baking for, say, like a minute or so, it's time to add the water. And we stir everything together. So it becomes a nice soupy mess. Look at that. And now, my friends, we're going to bring this to the boil and simply let it simmer for so like an hour, hour and a half, or till when the chicken falls apart. Cheers. And we just let this sitter away so all the liquids can evaporate. And when you think towards the end that you're running out of liquids, just add a little bit more water, chicken broth, or whatever you started off with. I would call this kind of cooking dump cooking, because isn't all we did dumping everything in one pot? And here we are, chilling and cooking away for the next hour. Because the last half an hour we'll be messing around with getting a fire going. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to this. I hope it's gonna be a nice sandwich. I like sloppy joes. And this is the chicken version, so what can go wrong? And that's all there is to it, guys. Till the chicken falls apart, we just be bubbling away. And if you want to have the consistency of your sauce a bit thinner, add some more water. Oh yes, look at that, the chicken is falling apart, the chicken is falling apart, aka it's pulling itself. <laughs> and keep simmering away till you're happy while you see. And when you're happy with what you're seeing, you're gonna add the last two ingredients. That's some finely chopped green onions and some bell peppers. Well, you can use jalapenos as well, whatever floats your boat. And these last two ingredients, my friends, you just let it cook for a few minutes, but not too long, because you want to have it crunchy. Well, there we go. The chicken pulled itself apart. Let's it do pull the itself test. apart. Yes, for sure. Well, a bit chunky, but who cares? Oh, oh. And the sloppiness, my friends, it's really how I like it. Not too dry, not too wet. And now the most important thing, the taste test. Because, yeah, 
It might look good, but if the taste is not there, it's still an hour and a half wasted. <laughs> well, guys, I'm going to put this on a sandwich, and you guys will be drawing. And there we go, out of nowhere, I got two toasted buns. Because, be honest, guys, you need to have your buns toasted because you need to have this crunch. All right, I can hear you thinking. Enough talking. You want to see action. Here we go. Now let's put a big heap on there, right? We deserve it. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that, my friends. <laughs> I can hear you thinking. I can hear you thinking. You wish you were living closer to me so you could have a bite as well. And then we're adding some green onions on top. Yes, some more green onions. I love onions. They're the vegetable of the future. And now my friends, we're going to put the top on them. Ooh, squeeze. There we go. Now some photos, because that's what YouTube and Instagram wants. And then it's chow time. You see, no photo shopping. What you see is what you get. Well, taking these photos made me hungry, so time to do the ultimate taste test and eat the whole sandwich. <laughs> That's what we're here for, right? <laughs> I hate to say it, but uh, I don't think this is a one bite sandwich. <laughs> um, no. Mm. I told you, not a one bite sandwich. <laughs> oh, you can taste the sweetness, the spiciness, the chicken. Sloppy Joe at his best. Joe can be proud of us. Oh. Oh. Oh, I better stop, otherwise, I can't finish up the video. <laughs> And that's it again for today guys, before you step away, check out the next video. Thanks for watching, hit those like and subscribe buttons and see you next week. Cheers. Told you can't stop eating.